simple practice to help you manage better day to day in work is to build regular resets into your routine. This is the kind of thing that we would often do to support children on the autistic spectrum, for example. Children whose emotional regulation might be less good and who might get more and more towards a state of overwhelm throughout the day. We might think about how, what can we do to help them emotionally regulate and bring themselves back to a sense of relative calm and peace and happiness. We might build those resets in perhaps through lessons as needed, or we might put them in at break time, lunch time, and perhaps one after school to help them transition to home. These resets are really helpful for those pupils. They help them to manage. They help them to bring their energy levels back to a place where they're manageable and where anger or anxiety or kind of low mood and, and the freeze type response doesn't stop them from engaging with learning. So we keep them in this kind of optimal zone insofar as we can for thriving and learning. We're great at doing that for our students who particularly need it. Not so good at doing it for ourselves, but actually we need that input too. And if we took a similar approach to ourselves as we do for our students, often we will find that we're better able to manage throughout the day and we're able to be a better teacher or support staff member as a result of that. So if you're able to think about throughout the day, how can you build in moments where you can just bring that sense of calm, that sense of happy to yourself? It doesn't have to take a long time. You might take a few minutes at break time or lunch time or even within a lesson. You could for a minute, whilst kids were perhaps doing a discussion task, you might just take a minute to collect your thoughts, to focus in on your breathing and kind of reset, consciously reset. These little moments that help us just to find that calm again really enable us to better cope and thrive. They enable us to be the calm and supportive adults that our children need and creating that kind of emotional regulation and that better sense of calm throughout the day also means that we're just more on our game when it comes to our teaching. Our problem solving skills are better, we're better able to access our higher level cognition. We're just better. So you might think that you don't have time to kind of reset, but it doesn't need to take long. And also it buys you time because taking two, three, four minutes in your lunch break to do this, to, to go outside, have a breath of fresh air and listen to the birds or whatever it is that might work for you might be the thing that actually creates time in your afternoon because you're in a really good place to bring a sense of calm to your whole class as you re-enter the classroom. They get calmer more quickly, they're ready for learning more quickly and more learning happens as a result. So you, d you do reap the benefits, but also you just feel better. In addition to those kind of mini resets throughout the day, which can be super helpful, it's also important for us to think about bigger resets throughout the term. So within the rhythm of school life, there are moments in the term for everybody that are more stressful than others. It's different for different teams within the school, but all of us have got our kind of crunch points essentially. And perhaps for teaching staff, they come at similar moments, but for premises staff, it might be at different times. So when we're all off swanning away on our summer holidays, often that's when the premises staff are hitting a crunch point and things are most difficult for them. Whereas for us, maybe that third week in November that can be so challenging we find ourselves on our knees, perhaps that's less of a difficult time for the premises staff. So we need to think about which are the moments for our individual teams. If you can, as a team, think about when those moments are, then you're in a really good position to plan for them and try and make sure that you approach those weeks in the best possible state of mind. It might be that if you recognise there's maybe a week in each term, which is particularly challenging for everyone, if you work together, you can think about how you can build in bigger resets for the team approaching those weeks and a big reset generally is going to look like trying to get more time for rest relaxation sleep that's easier said than done but if you plan ahead it's absolutely possible and I've worked with lots of schools who have created duvet weeks or they might have called it something different where everyone can get a bit more sleep and they do that by scheduling their meetings for the whole year or the whole term ahead and making sure that in those crunch weeks or maybe in the week prior to put us in the best place for those crunch weeks we make sure there are no meetings there's no meetings before school there's no meetings after school we might also think about doing some team teaching or shared planning or having a shared curriculum across year groups or the school. These might be your kind of drop down weeks, for example. So we might think a bit creatively together as a team about how we can support each other to minimize marking, to minimize planning, and to minimize meeting times for a few days at a time each term in order that everybody has a chance to do whatever it is that they need to recharge their batteries. For some that might be more sleep, for others it might be going and getting more exercise, for others it might be spending time with family and friends. But whatever it might be, those things that help us 
first just to feel a bit better, a bit more on top of things. It does take planning, you can't just suddenly decide to have a duvet week next week very easily, but if you know when those crunch points are, as a team, you can think together about how to put yourself in a good position to have a big reset just prior to those weeks. So your challenge for this module is to think about how you could build a mindful moment or two into each of your working days. Now a mindful moment is where you take even just a minute to do any activity mindfully. And when you do something mindfully, essentially what you're doing, you're gonna zone in on your senses, you're gonna really think wholeheartedly about the activity you're doing, whether that's standing out in the cool air, going for a walk, drinking a cup of tea, squeezing some putty, anything that you choose to do, just focusing all your senses in on that activity just for a minute and allowing the other thoughts just to pass on by. How could you build in some mini resets like that into your day, even for just a minute at a time? What would that look like for you? If you found this video helpful, you might be interested to learn more about UCAN. UCAN is our new, ever-growing, on-demand, video CPD service for schools. Each course is made up of a series of modules just like the one you've just watched. Each module is designed to be highly practical with ideas that you can use right away. We're growing our library of courses every week to meet the demands of our subscribers. There's a huge wealth of training that you and your colleagues will be able to access if your school subscribes. Our short practical videos make it easy and enjoyable to learn. So you can do anything you set your mind to.